Hey, 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 greetings everybody. It's Jade coming at you from my car this time. Just wanted to check in and say hello. How is everybody doing? I hope you're doing great. Hope you've been staying safe, healthy, avoiding the roan, all that good stuff. Is the NFL ever going to start? <laughs> They're slated to start on September 10th. You guys, the NFL is still planning on starting on time. So we shall see. I'm anxiously awaiting uh, the season over here. I'm skeptical that uh, there will be a season, but I'm trying to stay hopeful and positive. What do you guys think? Where are you guys at right now? Is the NFL going to start on time? Is it going to be an entire season? What are our thoughts right now? Have you been watching Bubble Ball? <laughs> so, other sports that have been going on, um, the Twins are doing decently. Go Twins. Uh, the Wild, they're out. That didn't take long. And the Minnesota Timberwolves were never in it to begin with. So, anyway, that's kind of stuff that's going on right now. Not going to lie, I don't know the status on the MLS, on the Major League Soccer team. The Loons, I believe, here. So, um, I am just like a lot of people, I think, really waiting for football, okay, for the NFL, and I'm thinking, you guys, like, if the Vikings and the whole entire NFL, all of them, if they don't get some sort of bubble plan in action, I don't know if this, there's going to be an entire season. I mean, I think they're going to try to start it, but, you know, once one person gets it, then, you know, like, okay, what happens if Kirky Boy with Pizza Ranch, if he gets it, you guys, and then we get Sean Mannion for a couple of weeks? I mean, that'll definitely, man, that's gonna, it's gonna get crazy, I think, if and when the season starts and, like, a couple people get it and they have to sit out for a couple of weeks. I mean, that is gonna change the dynamics in, just on the teams, in the divisions, in the entire league. I mean, Imagine no Tom Brady for a couple of weeks. What is Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay going to do, you know? So I will say it's intriguing to think about and it's interesting, even though it's weird ass times. But um, yeah, the Vikings, you guys, they're practicing. Um, I've seen some pictures. I've seen some video. They're going to practice. They're doing the thing. Also, since I was last on here, Rick Spielman and Zimmer, they got extensions, I believe, for another four years for each. I believe that is accurate. Don't quote me on it, but I believe it's um, four years, another four years total, including this one, I believe. So I think it was like three year extension, including this year. But I always kind of thought that um, Zimmer and Spielman were a package deal. Kind of, kind of seems like that's the case. So what do you guys think about that? I'm kind of Switzerland on it. I mean, to be honest, it's, I, I kind of, I personally think that they should have waited until to see how this last season plays out. But, you know, I guess Zimmer was kind of pissed about it. I kind of talked about that a little bit last time. But, you know, he got the extension. And I don't hate Mike Zimmer at all. I, I like him as a coach. I like him as a defensive coach. But I think that's where that's where a lot of his effort is, is on the defense. I mean, we know that, right? And it's just like, you got to do the whole team thing, dude. And also not to mention, like, again, Zimmer, I like, I like you, dude. I like the old school attitude. But like, when is kind of enough enough? You know, like when, when has there been enough time to, for the experiment, you know, per se. So Anyway, we'll see how it goes. And then, uh, you know, who's still waiting for, for, for some money, you guys, is uh, Melvin Cook. Uh, you know, time was not his friend. And, like, who could have predicted this this craziness? But, I mean, ugh, just kind of a shitty time for uh, Delph to try to hold out. So, we'll see what happens with that. But, um, as far as I know, he's, he's shown up. Because I think he showed up to practice, you guys. Because if he didn't, then he was going to be um, a restricted free agent. Okay? And who wants to have any sort of restrictions? I don't think a lot of people do. So, um, anyway, that's some Viking stuff. Um, also, they had a little, like, COVID reserve list happening. The Vikings did. I think there's only... Last time I heard, there was only, like six or eight players left on that it was basically for people that had for players that had come into contact with people that had corona like anthony barr i think was like the biggest name 
that um, was on it, but he has since been taken off. Oh, also, uh, Michael Pierce opted out of the season. That was the biggest name for the Vikings due to health concerns. I think he's got pretty bad asthma. So the opt-out um, deadline, I believe, was last Thursday for the NFL um, for players that if they wanted to opt out due to uh, health concerns without getting like fined or anything like that or I think they were able to then still collect like $350,000 for the year or something like that but I believe there was a total of 67 players from the entire league and I think there was only like two teams that didn't have any players opt out so uh, Michael Pierce is like, the notable name for the Vikings, so we're going to have to wait another year to see him play for the Purple. But hey, I guess, I mean, we get it, right? Your health, that's a huge concern. So, all right, totally understand, understandable. So, you guys, right now, I am anxiously awaiting the season to start. Like, all of you, I'm hopeful that it will start. And if it does, it's going to be definitely different and weird. But we shall see. We shall see. I know, I don't know about the rest of you. Did you guys get those fantasy football emails <laughs> to be like, hey, you want to start your fantasy league? It's like, um, probably not, not going to put all my eggs in that basket because who knows if there's going to be a season. But anyway, continue to watch the bubble ball, continue to watch some baseball. And on the uh, sports that are actually happening right now, too, with the crowd noise that is like filtered in, I haven't minded it. Minded it. I don't know if that's a word, but. I was watching a little baseball. Eh, I thought it was all right, you know? The only thing is missing is my, a fat head of me behind home plate. <laughs> they call those things the fat heads, right, you guys? So anyway, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your whatever day this is. I don't even know. It's Wednesday, I think. It's Wednesday. Does it matter what day it is? Who knows? <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday. Hope you're doing great. Um, check out too. Uh, I just want to do a small plug for my other YouTube channel that I've been doing. Uh, tarot with Jade. I do weekly tarot card readings for all astrological signs. So I would love to see you guys over there. I know there's a few people that are on both of my channels, which is totally appreciated obviously it's very very nice so I would love to see you guys over on my other channel too I'll put a link to it in the description of this one so again hope you guys are doing great hope you continue to do great have a great rest of your uh wacky whatever whatever day it is Wednesday <laughs> I'll check you later peace